2020학년도 11월 고등학교 2학년 전국연합학력평가 3교시 영어 영역 듣기평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, everyone. I'm your PE teacher, Mr. Andrews. Since this is your first class this semester, I'm going to give you some rules to follow in the PE class. First, you are required to wear appropriate clothing, such as sportswear and proper athletic shoes. Second, you must be careful when using sports equipment in the gym. Don't use the equipment without permission. Finally, when you hear the whistle, Stop what you're doing and pay attention to my instructions. If you keep these rules in your mind, you'll be able to participate safely in the PE class. Now, let's do a warm-up exercise. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jason, are you going out? Yes. I'm going to take a walk, Mom. Wait. Why are you wearing shoes without socks? I don't want to put them on. They feel uncomfortable. I know you feel that way, but for your foot health, you should wear socks. Really? Why do you say that? Well, your feet will stay dry if you put on socks, and you can avoid germs and bacteria on your feet. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. And if you don't have socks on, you could get scratched or even get a skin infection. That makes sense, Mom. I'm going to follow your advice. Good. Wearing socks is important for your foot health. 3번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, Simon. I'm glad that you are here. Hi, Julia. How's it going with recording your new song? Well, it's been tough. I've been singing the song all the time. I can imagine. How can I help you? The music video for the song will be filmed soon, and I need you to make an easy dance that everyone can follow. No problem. I just need a copy of this song so I can try to make it as simple and memorable as possible. Okay. Here's a copy of the song. When do you need the dance by? Hmm. I have a meeting with the music video director next Friday. All right. It'll take a couple of days to make the dance. Then we can practice it together. Perfect. Thank you so much. 4번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Anna. How was your weekend? Hey, Mike. I helped to make the stage for our school play. Here, take a look at the picture I took of the stage. Wow, it's wonderful. Thanks. My favorite is the Christmas tree in the corner. I agree. I also like the picture above the fireplace. Do you like it? I painted it myself. It looks so real. Why is there a cup on the round table? The main character is supposed to have some tea at the table. I see. Look at the toy horse next to the chair. It's so cute. Yeah. And what do you think of the bell on the door? It really adds to the Christmas atmosphere. You did a great job. Thank you. Will you come to see the play? Sure. I can't wait to see it. 5번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자에게 부탁한 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jake, what are you doing? I'm cleaning the house. Mom and Dad will come back tomorrow from their trip to Hawaii. You're right. We need to get ready to welcome them. Do you know tomorrow is their 25th wedding anniversary? Sure. So I'm going to make a special dinner for them. Oh, what will you make? 
roast chicken, and cream pasta. That's great. They'll love that. I hope so. How are they coming back home from the airport? They'll take a bus. I'm worried they'll be too tired. Why don't you pick them up at the airport tomorrow? Good idea. Could you please check the arrival time of their airplane? Of course. I can do that now. Thanks. Then I should go to the gas station to fill up the car. Yokban, Tewari de Go, Yojaga, Chibudai, Kumegel, Kurushio. Good morning. How may I help you? Hello. I'm looking for a birthday gift for my sister. Can you recommend something? Okay. How about these plates? These are the most popular ones in our store. The plate that has a star pattern is $20, and the flower patterned plate is $15. My sister has star decoration everywhere in her house, so I'll take some star patterned plates. Great. How many do you want? Four, please. All right. Is there anything else you're looking for? Those coffee cups are very pretty, too. How much are they? They're $10 each. I'll take two of them. Excellent. You want four star patterned plates and two coffee cups, is that right? That's correct. Just to let you know, we're offering a 10% discount on all items this month. Great. Here's my credit card. Chilbon, Tewari Dikko. 남자가 스터디 모임에 참여할 수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hey Ben, can I talk to you for a second? Hi Sarah. I'm sorry for not answering the phone this morning. I was in English class. That's okay. I called you to say that our study group meeting made some changes this week. Thanks. Did the meeting place change? No, we're still going to meet at the school library, but it'll be at 11 a.m. on Saturday. Saturday? I'm sorry, but I can't make it. Why? You told me that you don't have volunteer work on the weekends. I don't, but I have to go to the hospital. Oh, that's right. I heard you injured your leg playing soccer. Is that the reason? No, my leg wasn't hurt that badly. Actually, I have a medical checkup this Saturday. I see. I'll call you later to tell you the schedule for next time. Thank you for understanding. Paibon, Tewari Dikko, Lakeville Camp Ground Day Guane, Ongut Deji Anengos, Sir Kodushio. Honey, what are you doing? I'm looking at this brochure for Lakeville Campground. Why don't we go camping next month? Sounds great. Let's look at the brochure together. Wow. In these photos, the campground is surrounded by a thick forest. And there's also a huge lake nearby. That's awesome. We can enjoy the beauty of nature. Yeah. And they offer a lot of convenient facilities. It says each camping site has a shower room, a barbecue grill, and a place to have a campfire. We're going to have so much fun. How much is it? It's $35 per night. That's reasonable. And it says we should make a reservation on their website. This campground is really popular, so we need to hurry to reserve a place. Okay, let's do it right now. 9번, Circus Experience Festival에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, ABS Radio listeners. I'm Catherine Barton, director of Lingston Circus. I'm so happy to tell you that we're hosting this year's Circus Experience Festival. It starts on November 20th and lasts for three days. We're offering a variety of hands-on activities, including magic tricks and juggling. And qualified instructors will teach you. To ensure your safety, we'll limit the number of participants to 10 for each activity. You can also enjoy taking pictures with some circus clowns in the photo zone. 
Additionally, we'll give you free postcards as a souvenir of this festival. Are you excited? Come to the Circus Experience Festival and have a great time. Thank you. Honey, what are you doing? I'm thinking about buying a wireless microphone set. My throat hurts a lot after giving so many lectures every week. All right, let me help you. How long do you think the receiving distance has to be? I'm not sure. I'll be using it in the classroom. Your classroom is not very small. I think 10 meters is not enough for the receiving distance. Okay, that's good advice. And do you want a headset? I'd like to have one so I can use my hands freely during the lecture. You're right. What color do you want? It doesn't really matter, but I don't want silver. I see. Now, you have only two options left. I'll buy the cheaper one. Thank you for your help. 11번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mom, I have to borrow some books from the library today, but it's raining outside. Don't worry. I'll give you a ride. Do you want to leave now? Yes, but I need to look for my library card first. Could you wait for a second? 12번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, David. I'm almost halfway to the restaurant. Where are you? Hi, Amy. I just finished work and got in my car. I'll take the highway so I'll arrive on time. I heard on the radio that there has been a car accident on the highway. So you're going to get stuck. 13번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ashley, you got a letter from the business department at Corvin University. Oh, it might be my acceptance letter, Dad. I'm so nervous about it. Can you open it for me? Okay, let's see. You got in, sweetie. Congratulations. Really? Wow, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. And you also got accepted to the mathematics department of the other university. Yeah, I have to make a decision soon. But it's hard for me to choose between the two. Hmm, what do you really want to study? Actually, I love math. But business is one of the most popular majors. I think you shouldn't choose a major based on what other people say. Do you mean I have to consider my own interests? Of course. You will be happy doing what you love to do. 14번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Steve. I have something to tell you. Hi. What is it, Sophie? We need to decide on a research topic for our science club. Yeah. What topic do you have in mind? I don't have any specific idea. Why don't we ask the other members for their opinions? I'm not sure about that. I think it's our job to determine a research topic as club leaders. But do you remember last semester? We chose the research topic ourselves, and some members didn't like it. You're right. Then how can we hear everyone's opinion? Well, we'll have time to discuss with all of our club members next week. That sounds good. But what if they have too many different ideas? Then we can put the research topic to the vote and choose what most members want for the topic. 
15번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 멜리사가 버베에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Melissa and Bob are best friends. Melissa is working for a cybersecurity company. She fully understands the importance of online security and she's been updating her computer security program with the latest version. One day, Bob tells Melissa that somebody illegally accessed his personal information and tried to steal his credit card number. When she checks out his computer, she notices that he's using an old version of the security program. So, she wants to suggest that he keep up with the newest version of the security software. In this situation, what would Melissa most likely say to Bob? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Welcome back, listeners. I'm Doris Harrell from Garden Stories. Have you heard that flowers could be sending hidden messages? Today, I'd like to talk about secret meanings some flowers can convey. First, carnations can send the message You are always on my mind, and I deeply admire you. Therefore, they are widely used as a gift on Parents' Day. Next, people prefer to use tulips in a wedding bouquet since they symbolize consuming love as well as happy years. Did you know that irises generally represent the idea of faith and wisdom? So, they are frequently used in religious settings and have inspired many artists. Last, daisies mean innocence, loyal love, and purity. But at the same time, they imply to friends, I'll never tell your secret. Now you know flowers say a lot more than you think. After the commercial break, I'll talk about how to decorate your home with beautiful flowers. Stay tuned. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Welcome back, listeners. I'm Doris Harrell from Garden Stories. Have you heard that flowers could be sending hidden messages? Today, I'd like to talk about secret meanings some flowers can convey. First, carnations can send the message, you are always on my mind and I deeply admire you. Therefore, they are widely used as a gift on Parents' Day. Next, People prefer to use tulips in a wedding bouquet since they symbolize consuming love as well as happy years. Did you know that irises generally represent the idea of faith and wisdom? So, they are frequently used in religious settings and have inspired many artists. Last, daisies mean innocence, loyal love, and purity. But at the same time, they imply to friends I'll never tell your secret. Now you know flowers say a lot more than you think. After the commercial break, I'll talk about how to decorate your home with beautiful flowers. Stay tuned. 16번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 17번. 언급된 꽃이 아닌 것은? 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다.